Post, get on your marks. Green screen effect, please. Throw the title card up. Put the package on the screen. Ready? Camera one, ready? Starting title sequence in three, two, take camera one. My name is Alyssa Holcomb. I'm an executive producer of the Byte Entertainment News Program, and that means that I am in charge of the entire team um, of hosts, of reporters, technicians, associate producers, um, me, and two other executive producers basically run the whole show. So the Byte has evolved a bit since it first started. The first few episodes that we filmed were very long, for internet forum. They were about 30 to 40 minutes long. We decided about halfway through our production season that we would split them into different segments. So we'd have more 10 to 12 minute segments of each episode. For entertainment news, both in the Gator Nation and around the country, I'm Lauren Crawford. I'm Kelvin Ramirez. And I'm Bobby Desmond. We're gonna start the segment off with one of my favorite segments, Biter. It's a learning process. We've definitely tried to see what works and what doesn't. That's kind of the best way to sum, sum up the whole show. It's a giant learning process. As for the actual format of the show, we have usually three hosts at a time and we incorporate their own discussions in with packages. Because there are so many beat reporters and technicians that go with them, we usually alternate as to who gets placed in which episodes. We don't just limit it to local events, obviously. We have different segments encompassing all types of, of genres. We have beauty reporters, fashion reporters, music, movies, TV, all sorts of things. So we have a really wide canvas of topics that we cover. Uh, my name is Nestor Montoya. I'm a beat reporter for The Bite. My beat is local gator. So I basically report on stories of local events and activities in the Gainesville area. I transferred just this semester, so I really didn't know anything about Gainesville. So I think that this beat, in a way, is kind of like an orientation of sorts. So it's really cool because I get to see a lot of great and cool things that Gainesville has. But at the same time, it's kind of difficult coming up with stories because uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Gainesville is kind of not, not a lot of stuff happens here sometimes, actually a lot of times but it's still fun. So every week we meet on Tuesdays and usually the first Tuesday of the month is pitch meeting and we have to go and present our pitches to the producers. I'll have a pitch ready and most of the time when I present the pitch I have to kind of pre-arrange these interviews and get my permission to go to these events and cover them just in case if um, you know either they follow through or they don't. Once I give my pitch it gets approved then uh, we're usually given about a week and a half to go and get the story done. So there's kind of a lot of options there for you to have fun, bring music out, you can rent out um, any sort of sports equipment, uh, cornhole, and just have a great time. Um, and then you mentioned this like pre-interview. Um, how big is uh, Lake Wahlberg? It's about uh, two to two and a half miles in circumference. I've paddled all the way around many a time. And then... So. <laughs> We record the audio over for the voiceovers and then Christina edits them and they're all ready to go. But sometimes that week and a half is, uh, is a challenge because you're kind of balancing school also. Definitely it, it can sometimes be hard, but rewarding. I've found that usually when we cover a story, uh, there's always a challenge that we have to kind of face. Uh, for example, this Lake Wahlberg story, we originally intended to film it on Monday and uh, Lake Wahlberg is closed on Monday and so we had to ask for an extension and our producers are so great that they gave it to us. Um, and then also there's like today where we're here, it's Wednesday, we're at Lake Wahlberg and we're basically told that we can't really be here because we didn't ask for permission from the marketing coordinator. Okay, no, do that again. Okay. so but everyone here is super cool so they let us do it anyway and I just have to give this guy a call um, just to let him know like what we're doing but for the most part um, I'd say that this is a pretty smooth story we haven't really come across real obstacles safety first man 
safety first. Like there was that West Coast swing style story that we did. We had everything planned out and the day before, actually hours before in the night, we were called and they told us that they could no longer do the interview with us. So I had to basically pull all my strings and we were able to make it happen, but it was definitely hard to do that. Working on the bike for, for the year, it's actually, it's been pretty rewarding. Um, I, I've gotten close to everyone that works on the show and uh, Christina and I, we work great together, we're a great team. And I think it's really expanded my storytelling because I have to be extra creative at times and it's, it's a lot of fun. Next year, I definitely want to do the bite again and continue with my beat reporting. And who knows, we'll see what happens. I'm guessing we'll be done by three. Yeah. Like if we, if, if, yeah, if we start oh, yeah. filming at like noon. When is that? Well, I'll be filming a little later. I think it's April 12th. Sunday, April 12th. 12th? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We also have a host meeting that happens a week of filming. The hosts basically do the same thing as the reporters. They pitch what they want to talk about for their own host segments, their discussions, and we kind of edit and filter to see what we can and cannot include. So for example, we have a game called Biter, which is our version of Tinder. We discuss what the theme of Biter for that week is going to be, and we pick out celebrities or people that we want to include and we go from there to see which way we'll swipe left or swipe right and they go out and get the graphics for us so that we can make the game for the show. There's also a lot behind the scenes for those who may not want to be on camera. We have associate producers. Um, they are basically our right hand ladies. They're all women this year. Uh, they really have helped a lot with the format of the show. They're at the host meetings. They are at the general meetings. They help us in the control room when we film the episodes. They have gone out with us on special filming assignments to make sure that they know all the ropes. They know everything about the show just like the executive producers do. We also have studio technicians that help us on the days of filming and we have reporter technicians. Each reporter is generally assigned one technician who both films with them and then edits their packages and sends it to the executive producers to review. So my particular job is the script, uh, the outline of the show. So basically I take all of the reporter segments and I take all of the host segments, I combine it together to make a cohesive sort of roadmap for the show. It's not exactly a script that you can memorize, it's more of an outline. We want it to keep it a conversational form for when the hosts discuss everything. So I basically just throw in maybe little ideas of lines they could say to segue from a host segment to a package. Like, just say what she did yeah. and then make it brief. Don't talk about it. Too. It's almost like a puzzle when I'm trying to figure out where to put a host segment in relation to a reporter segment because sometimes there aren't clear um, segues into each of these segments. So it's kind of a creative process trying to find out how I can link things to everything so it all becomes one cohesive show. So once the script is all compiled and edited and we see if there's anything else we need to add, I send it out through our specific episode Facebook chats, which is really where we all talk together. It's quite helpful actually. Um, we also have a Facebook group where we post anything that needs to be shared, um, important announcements that we need everyone to see. It's actually a, a quite in, like it's a crucial way that we all communicate with each other. So we film on Sundays generally. Um, we get there early before the show is about maybe two hours before we're supposed to start filming uh, to set up the three cameras in the studio to make sure we have all the graphics in. Uh, we go into the control room to make sure that we have everything set up for audio and for the cameras. Um, we focus everything, make sure the host marks are there. We basically set up the entire process in the course of about an hour, hour and a half. Because of space issues, uh, we film on a green screen in the production studio in the College of Journalism. Because of space issues, we decided to have three at a time. And sometimes when we try and schedule our hosts, some of them can't work those weekends. So it actually ended up working out for the best. For our special award show episode, we did have five, but we had two of them in the field, which I thought was a really cool way to incorporate everyone. We have our final episode coming up that we're also trying to incorporate all five of them as a farewell of sorts. This episode of The Bite. It's been an amazing run, y'all. And I cannot believe this is my final episode. Yeah, oh, try not to cry. Guys.
But I think we have big things ahead of us. What What are your plans after graduation? God willing, I get a job in either New York or LA, oh, and that's the plan. You will. So. You will. Thanks you for the bike. Is coming for you. Yeah. Thank you, girl. And while I won't be traveling that far, I'll stay in Gainesville. I'm actually going to be going to the UF Law School. I won't be on the bike, but congratulations. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Maybe I'll stop by next year and make a surprise appearance. The bike. The bike. Bigger and better things. Maybe, maybe you can be our lawyer. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need a lawyer. But. From there, we basically shoot live to tape, which means that we go one take or nothing. Uh, we want to make this show as realistic as possible in terms of comparing it to other news programs or entertainment news programs. So all of the people in the control room are on their marks. We're communicating with them on the floor via headset uh, with the floor manager and the hosts know their cues. They. If they mess up on a take, we start it usually over again, and that's fine. It's a learning process, but again, we want to make it as close to what the real thing would be as possible, because it is a real show. Welcome to The Bite, your source for entertainment news, both in the Gator Nation and around the country. I'm Lauren Crawford. <laughs> I'm Kelvin Ramirez. And I'm Bobby Desmond. We're here to bring you all of the entertainment news you could want, from the biggest celebrities and fashion statements to more local news right here in Gainesville, Florida.